Yeah, this is the Pokey's 57 CNC controller and in this video I'll just go through uh, how it looks and the ins and outs and then in a following video I'll actually try to connect it to uh, stepper drivers and power supply and see how it works with Mark III. The nice thing about this card is that it works with both Mark III and Mark IV and you can connect it to your computer uh, in two ways, namely via the USB. So if your computer is close by, this is a good option just to connect USB uh, to PC. But if you have more distance, it also has an Ethernet connection. So you give it an IP address and then you connect via the, uh, the Ethernet connection to uh, the CNC machine. This is of course nice if you have longer distance, if you want to keep your PC away from the dust and so on and so forth. In general you can also have longer wires when you have the Ethernet connection. This is typically max one and a half two meters and this can go all the way up to 100 meters or so. On the card uh, we have several or uh, a ton of connectors and uh, if we take it one by one the first one here is another connector it's a jumper and here you set whether uh, you want it to have uh, internal power uh, via the USB it's like it is now or if you move it one down it goes for external and then you can connect 6 to 24 volts here and then you have your power for the uh, circuit board next one is some output for solid state relays you have a 5 volt here and then you have the uh, output for two solid state relays you can power off these two. In a similar manner you have manual or normal uh, electromagnetic relay sitting here and you have the switching happening between the two sets here. This one is a unique pokey thing. It's an extension bus to which you can connect different devices for example the pokey keyboard or any of their bus cards or relays and so on so this is a very useful one several of their stepper drivers and keyboard also have this bus here and this is a digital bus where you can basically daisy chain a number of things and give them an address and then this bus will communicate both uh, to the device and back again. So this is a two-way way to communicate. Over here uh, you have a set of uh, IOs that you can use for various purposes. And uh, then we come to a big block here of eight. This one. And this is where you have your motors. You have motor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, typically you will probably only use four, maybe five if you have a, a rotary axis. Then you have a DB25 connection here. So if you have something that uh, is working uh, off a, an old uh, breakout board, you can use this one. And then you have limit switch and homing connections. You have them both as a screw terminal or and as a block here. So depending on how it's easier for you to set it up, you can use uh, either of these two. Then uh, Pokey also have a pendant where you can get the pulses. Uh, you have this little wheel you can turn around and um, then you can use uh, this and you can connect it here. There's also an option for connecting an LCD to read out X, Y, and Z coordinates and other stuff, and that can be connected here. Then you have some analog inputs over here, and then the final one, uh, this but with this one, that's for some encoder if you want to attach other types of encoders to it. So basically, it has all sorts of inputs and outputs. The vast majority of these uh, you will probably not use, but you will definitely use the motor. You will be using the limit switch and maybe the pendant and if you uh, want to have the keyboard you will probably connect it to the bus here. So this is uh, the different options you have for connecting to, uh, to the board.